Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video and all who's watching. I pray your day is blessed. I pray the peace of Jesus has surrounded you all day. So we're doing um, a Bible school um, at my church, and um, we're studying the book of Hebrews. And uh, we went over chapter 1 and 2, but I want to read chapter 1 to you. Um very powerful, the first paragraph, um, verses 1 to 4. The Holy Spirit had me pause and read this and then, you know, really meditate on it. So I'm going to read the entire chapter of Hebrews 1 to you, and I hope you enjoy the Word of God. God's supreme revelation, God who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. I mean, that's a big chunk of amazingness right there. <laughs> Praise Jesus. The Son exalted above the angels, for to which of the angels did he ever say, You are my Son, today I have begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. But when he again brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. And the angels, he says, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But to the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions and... You, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you remain, and they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak, you will fold them up, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not fail. But to which of the angels has he ever said, uh, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? Amen. There's so much power in the word of God. And um, it's a very powerful thing to speak the word out loud. Uh, my pastor was talking about that during our Bible study. And I agree with that 100%. Um, one thing that that I started to study in this word that the Holy Spirit had put upon my heart was the scepter. And it reminded me of the scepter um, in the book of Esther. You know, you couldn't uh, go to the king, uh, you know, without um, him giving you permission or touching his scepter. And um, the scepter is a, a place of power and um, uh, of a king and um, there's, I, I did a study on it, but it's just the righteousness and the kingdom. And, um, you know, back at Esther's day, if you approach the king without having permission or he allowed you to touch the scepter, you were killed. So I was, I was really studying the scepter. I was also studying uh, glory because in... Um, in verse 3, it speaks about the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. And I was um, studying in the bluebible.org um, study guide, and it was saying that there's like 58 other scriptures in the Word of God 
uh, relating to God's glory. So I just thought that was really cool, and I wanted to share that as well. I hope you have a wonderful evening. God bless you.